Um, what is your reaction or how do you feel when, when uh, Brian Kelly says that everyone's job is on the line? Um, we are a one and three football team and things need to change. And if that is Coach Kelly's way or method of, of changing the things that are going on in our program, then, then that's what's going to happen. Um, he's the head football coach. We understand as a team that things haven't gone our way and that there's a lot of change needed in our, within our program. And um, it's a response, it's guys, if guys are willing to respond to that kind of a message, then that's what's going to happen. Um, he is, I mean, obviously there's no sugarcoating it of how, how bad some of the outcomes have been in the last couple of weeks and um, change needs to be made. And um, it's a, it's, whether it's a change in an attitude or response to that kind of a message, then that's what our team needs. Then we're all behind our head coach. Have you seen a difference in your teammates this week? Any more fire or change in attitude? Um, I think so. I think um, there's an attitude that that guys are just fed up. They, that we've had enough, and we've had enough losing. We've had enough um, not playing to the potential that we are capable of and the standard that we have set here. Um, and we went out to practice yesterday, and, and guys were flying around having fun with it, and I think that's the thing that we lost. We lost a little bit of that fun mentality, a little bit of that um, football genuine care about the game and and I think that we kind of got back to that a little bit yesterday and um, that that's been the message that we've been preaching for the last few days now. Um, Kelly also has talked about how Deshaun has not been living up to expectations. What have you seen from him this week as far as dealing with obviously what Kelly has said about him and maybe how he's moving forward? Um, I think Deshaun has had incredibly high expectations put on him, both by himself and by a lot of other people around um, our program and outside of our program. And he has done a pretty good job of, of, com of weathering that storm and, and kind of putting things away that don't need to be brought up. And there's some times where he's made mistakes and in, in, in a football game, but I mean, that's part of football. That's um, I, I definitely can't say I haven't made a mistake that, yet this this year on, on Saturday. So Deshaun is doing a phenomenal job and has done a phenomenal job both last year and this year. And we are all 100% behind him. And he knows what's expected of him. And he's going to get the job done because that's who he is. And one more. Um, Coach Kelly said that there was a, a team meeting on Monday that kind of he felt afterwards that you guys now have kind of a clear understanding of the direction that the team needs to go. Why is it that after that, the team now has a clear understanding of where it needs to go. Um, we kind of laid it all out there, and obviously the things that were said are going to be kept within the team. But there's there's things that were said that um, kind of struck home with some guys, and there uh, we're all ready to kind of get that attitude back and get that that and, and ready to change everything that's been going on. We've we've. Uh, We've put ourselves in a pretty bad situation, and, and it's time to wake up and, and fight back and rewrite the story of the season, and that's what we fully intend to do. Like talking about Deshaun and the, you know, the high standard and everything, what about his mentality allows him to strive for that high of a standard that you know, Coach Kelly and everyone sets? Um, I think he realizes the, how, what he's capable of as a football player. I mean, Deshaun is one of the best, if not the best quarterback in the country. And um, he realizes that. Everybody on our team realizes that. And it's about the way he comes to work every day that is that allows him to be that guy. And it's it's not like he just was a magic wand was blown over him to give him these special talents and powers. No, he, he works for it. And he, he always has worked for it. It's the kind of guy that he is. And he's our, he's an un unbelievable worker, an unbelievable teammate. and. Um, that's how he comes to work every day is, to, is with the mindset to be the best, and that's the mindset that our team needs, needs to um, kind of adopt as a whole. For you guys, I know you're on the offensive side of the ball, but you know, when Coach Van Gorder was let go on Sunday, you know, what was sort of your guys' reaction to it? Um, well, it, the reaction from us is, is that it's, um, football is the way it is, and, and Coach Kelly felt that there needed to be a change, and, and so we made it. And, Obviously, it's, it's tough when it's um, a mid-season change and um, guys are connected to Coach Van Gorder and, and 
have a guy on our team that is his son. Um, but it's at the same time, everybody understands that changes needed to, needed to be made. And um, it, that's the decision that Coach Kelly made. So we're, we all are behind it. With the change needing to be made when, you know, Coach Kelly comes out and says everyone's job is on the line, basically, and then someone's job is basically put on the line, you know, a day after. Does that drive the point home for you guys even more, or did you need that point to be driven home even more? Um, I don't really know if we looked at it that way. Um, I think that the point has been driven home about what needs to change and how guys need to approach their business and how we all need to approach our business. Obviously, that kind of did put some um, some heat on it, I guess. And um, but like I said, it's uh, it's it's a, it's football. It's, there's there's a business aspect to this, and um, we all need to get our jobs done. And um, if not, Coach Kelly is is going to find a way to make somebody else do it. Curious for as as a captain, you're kind of in a. It's just a unique situation for you since you've been here. The message from Coach Kelly is, I mean, even even in 2014 when there was the bad November, it wasn't until the middle of that month you guys were out of contention. Really, how do you change? I feel you have to change your approach as a leader when, when you're one and three. Is it is it just do you really have to go day by day right now at this point, or can there be a long standing message? No, absolutely. I think no matter whether you're in contention or not, the approach should be day by day. Um, I think that's probably a little bit of what got us off the wrong track is not doing that day by day. We were guys were too worried about different things that they shouldn't have been worried about. And um, it, it has a huge part of what you do is focusing on one specific play, one specific day of practice and not looking forward to Saturday when it's when it's Tuesday afternoon and you're in the middle of a 24 period practice. And it's not it's not conducive to how to becoming a better football player and a football team. So I think the exact approach that needs to be done is a day-by-day -day approach, no matter whether you're 1-3 or 4-0. Oh. So um, that's what we try to do each and every day, especially up front on the offensive line, is kind of go back to basics and understand that it's, it's, uh, football is an entire process. It, it's not just show up on Saturday and play ball. You have to, it's a game of, of intense, intense preparation. And um, we have to go back to basics and how to do that. And, um, continue with that mindset, and I think we'll be a better off for it. This is probably hard to answer because you got to go back a week in your mind, but did you notice a lack of passion preparing for Duke anywhere, and is it, is it hard to address that outside of your offensive line? Obviously, you saw it in your offensive line group, you're going to address it, but mm -hmm. is that difficult to kind of address in that situation through, through a team? Um, I mean, regardless of whether it's in, on the offensive line or not, um, I would address it regardless because it's, I'm a member of this football team and just as anybody else is, they should address it as well if they feel that way. And obviously it is addressed, but whether you address it or not, it doesn't always kind of resonate. And, and sometimes things go the way they are and, and guys need a little extra wake up call. And, and um, unfortunately, we, we didn't get enough of that prior to the clock hitting zero against Duke. And um, we need to be better, and it's going to be okay. It's it, we're going to figure out how to get that energy back, and I feel like it's already on its way back. But um, we got to make sure we keep building each day, and I, I think it goes back to the, the day by day mentality and and um, taking that kind of urgency to work each and every day and each and every snap at practice. Thanks. Mike, as a as a veteran, I'm curious: Do younger guys get like? When you lose on Saturday, it's, it may be because you didn't work hard enough on Tuesday or you didn't get enough sleep on Wednesday. Um, they just think it's, well, I didn't play well on Saturday. That's just how it is. Like, do young guys get that? Um, I don't think that you can ever fully get that because you always kind of feel like you're doing your part. But when you have to look in the mirror and it comes down to it, um, you wake up pretty fast when you're one and three. Um, we realize that. Um, what we felt, what like, what we have felt that good preparation is, hasn't been good enough, and we will continue to ramp that up and and continue to fight for um, the best play that we can. And um, it's it's about getting that understanding throughout the entire football team 
uh, whether you're a freshman or a fifth year senior, um, that preparation is the most important thing of this game. And games aren't won on Saturdays in, in September. They're won in January in the weight room or in the summer doing your drills. And then each week it's won Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday when you're, when you're on the practice field. So um, if you can prepare the right way, prepare harder with the guys that we have on our team, I'm pretty confident that we can get our, our jobs done just a little bit better. One thing that Josh Adams said after the game that I thought was interesting was just about how he felt like sometimes in practice guys just go out to work to work, like almost like spinning their wheels a little bit, opposed to like being intentional enough about each drill and each rep. Is that is that something you feel like you guys need to get better at? Absolutely, and I think it's um, it's a mindset like everything else. You You have to put everything that you can into each drill, each snap, each everything in this game. Um, you can't overlook any detail. You can't leave any stone left unturned. Um, it, it's, it's so important that you prepare as a, as a champion just as much as you want to play like one. And um, maybe that should be our new mantra, but um, it's, 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 it's coming down to that intensity about the littlest things possible, and, and and Josh was right. I think there is a lack of there was a lack of that, but I think we're young, and I think that guys have to get that understanding through experience. And if that if that experience comes through hard times like we're in now, then so be it. But um, we got to keep moving forward, and and there's still a lot of football left to be played. Thanks.